Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this purple eye look and we're going to be using the Jaclyn Hill uh, Volume 2 with Morphe. And I'm starting out with this shade called Therapy Sesh. And this is a very pretty purple shade. It's a matte shade. And... At first it comes off like, like a, not a hot pink, but a pink, just a rose pink. The great thing about these shadows is that you can build them up and they're going to come out to their true color. They're not going to get patchy. So I really enjoy this palette. I feel like she did a great job on this eyeshadow palette. Now going in with Not My Journey, this purple you guys is like a true great purple like it's so pretty and I love that like I said earlier these shadows they build up so nicely but anyways I'm packing that on the outer outer third of the eye just building up the out the outer part of the eye to give it just a little bit more definition and then going back in with therapy sesh and cleaning up around it and just bringing back that color to life. Now here I'm taking the P. Louise base in Rumor 2 and if you guys do not use a base or concealer try doing this trick when you do your eyeshadows just to give them that pop but if you're going to use anything use anything like on the lighter side don't use like a dark base try to use a lighter base so that way the colors come out more true to their tones and that way you know you got your eyeshadow popping so here I'm taking a1 because you know this shade is a1 <laughs> I'm just kidding but this is a very pretty shade and I'm just taking this shade on the inner third of the eye just to brighten up that inner part of the eye. Now this is a very pretty shimmer shade or metallic shade, however you want to call it. It's a very beautiful shade. It's like a baby lilac pink color. It has like a pinky purple hue to it, if that makes any sense. Now here I'm going to be taking this shade here and this shade is called A Moment and you guys, let's just take a moment to say that this is a stunning shade on the lid. Like, it's so pretty. It's like a metallic fuchsia. Like, it's so stunning. And I am obsessed with this shade. I think it's so pretty. And I think that you could swoop this on the lid and it would just look so, so stunning like as a center shade or even like if you were doing a cut crease with like a deeper purple kind of look i think that this color would look beautiful as you know the the main color but anyways going in with the uh, anastasia beverly hills liner and i'm just lining my lashes you guys know that i love a wing liner I think that, um, for me at least, it elongates my eyes. Like, it, it extends them out and makes them just look more, like, it. I don't know, for some reason, it just gives me, like, I feel like it gives my eyes just what they need because I feel like my eyes are pretty big and I feel like this kind of elongates them to make them look a little bit more put together, a little bit more like extended but anyways I'm going to be going in with the Lash Princess Mascara and if you didn't watch my last video then um you should definitely go back and check that one out but um I talk about this mascara a little bit and this mascara is good it is a great drugstore mascara and you can pick it up at Ulta and if you live in Texas, I'm sure you can find it at H-E-B because I believe that they carry Essence in H-E-B. 
but um, it's a great mascara. It lengthens your lashes, so um, I really like it. Um, when I first used it, it wasn't that great, but now that I've used it several times and it's not as watery as when I first picked it up, it definitely does definitely does the job. And then, well, here I'm taking my, Ma not Maybelline, this is CoverGirl. Yeah, my CoverGirl uh, concealer, and this concealer is a great concealer. It's a great drugstore concealer. It gives you the brightening effect that you need, and it also just covers up those dark circles. Because, you know, I have some dark circles, girl. And then here I'm taking this Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is an OG powder. It's been around for a long time and it's just such a good product. If you are oily, try it out. You'll love it. And then here, of course, I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Bronzer. And this one's just the mini one. I got it in like a little set with like, I think it came with like matchsticks. I think one was like a bronzy shade I think it was just a set of two but yeah um, the Shady Biz bronzer I like it I mean it's not um, as deep as you know my butter bronzer or my Rimmel stay matte bronzer but it gets the job done as well and then here I'm using this eyeshadow from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina collection volume one and I'm using that as a blush. It's like a very coral shade and I love it for springtime. I think it's gonna be like my go-to just to use up that shadow, you know. And then I took the soft and gentle <laughs> soft and gentle. Soft and gentle from MAC. Uh it's that's also an OG. And I just use that because it's more of a subtle glow highlighter it's not like super intense we want the focus more to be on the eyes and then here in the inner corner I am taking the shade Talia from the Jaclyn Hill palette and this shade is bomb you guys I can't wait to swoop this all over the lid with a, a look in the future so make sure you stay tuned for that one and then of course I did smoke out the lower lash line and then here I'm just smoking the lower lash line. Oh no, I'm applying mascara. <laughs> but I did smoke out the lower lash line with Therapy Sesh and Not My Journey. And then here I'm taking the Coco Nut Liner from Kylie Cosmetics. If you haven't tried her liners, you should definitely try them out. They are super bomb. Okay, and then just taking this lipstick from e.l.f. It's in the shade Cream and this is a matte lipstick. And I love this combo with the Kylie lip liner. Now, going in with this Rimmel Stay Glossy, I'm just topping that over my lips just to give them a pinky hue. And then going in with my Morphe Setting Spray. This is the dewy one, and it is so bomb, and it smells so good, and you should definitely pick it up. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.